You ready? Great. Uh, hi there, I'm Tom Garreau, president of the Global Coral Reef Alliance. And what I'm going to show you is how bio rock reefs grow severely eroded beaches back very naturally and rapidly at Pulau Ganga in Sulawesi in Indonesia. When we began at this site, there was massive erosion. The entire beach had washed away. It had been getting worse and worse. It had been progressively eroding. As you can see here, there are buildings. This, in this case, these are the concrete bases at the top of a building that they had to dismantle because it was about to fall into the ocean. So they, they actually removed the building and moved it inland. And they'd done this several times because of progressive erosion over the last five years that kept moving in. So there was, at, when we began this, and this is in, uh, in June 2015 and December 2015, or in December 2015, as you can see, there was a, a cliff, an erosion cliff where the sand had all collapsed and, um, and the beach in front had gone. Again, this is in December 2015 at the beginning of the project. Here's a building about to fall into the collapse and they're, they're about to move it and, and take it away. So this is the point when we began the project. These are more pictures here from 2015. Here's a tree that had fallen into the sea. So you see that erosion cliff had been, there's a beach had been disappearing and moving inland. Trees had been falling into the sea and this one we thought was going to die. What we did in this location is we built about 50 small bio rock reefs in front of this eroding beach. You can see those on the left hand side in that red circle. And we built a few down below to try to protect another area that had erosion. So we built those bio rock reefs in, over the course of January 2016. So the month after those that you saw those pictures before, we installed these. It took about a month or two months. The first one went in in late December, and then in the course of January, we built these. Now, and I'm going to show you what happened. Literally, by April, 80% of the eroded beach had grown back. Within three months, it had nearly grown back. And here, here it is in August, so this is about, about six months after the project was installed. At this point, the beach had almost entirely grown back. Here is that building that they were about to it was about to collapse and they were about to move into the sea. Here's that tree that had fallen in and the, the sanders would come right back. I mean, this was just quite astonishing, literally in months. It's a natural restoration. We did that with bio rock reefs. In this picture here, you see the bio rock reefs offshore. At low tide there, the tops are exposed. Uh, at high tide, they're completely submerged. This is the beach at low tide. And these are small structures, you'll see them a little later in more detail, but these are bio rock reefs and these have grown the beach back. They've literally slowed the waves down offshore so the sand piles up along the beach instead of washing away as it was before we installed them. This is again after six months. Here's one of the bio rock reef structures we put. We call these the bio rock anti-wave structures because they're shaped like an upside down wave. And that shape is the ideal shape of wave to absorb wave energy smoothly and gradually because it's an upside down wave. It just uh, breaks the wave without it all hitting at once. It kind of gradually goes up and over. And after six months here, what, what you can see is the steel, because of the bio rock process, is growing limestone. It's growing white minerals all over it. It's getting stronger with age. It's cementing itself to the bottom. And you can see corals are now beginning to spring up all around the base. There's small coral fragments and fish all around it. Seagrass growing like mad. This is again after six months after installation, stimulating the growth of seagrass a great deal. The bio rock anti wave reefs are, I'd say, are ideally shaped to dissipate wave energy gradually, and that's because they act like real coral reefs. They don't act like a seawall that reflects the waves and concentrates all the wave force. What coral reefs do is they're full of holes and cavities, so the water flows through them without reflecting the waves. So there's no erosion that's caused by wave reflection. They dissipate wave energy slowly and gradually. So the bio rock anti-wave structures grow back beaches, as you're going to see here, at record rates. I mean, no one has ever grown back a beach like that before naturally, ever. And in doing so, we've restored the corals, the seagrasses, and the fisheries of the whole area. So we've restored the ecological function that had been damaged. And we do so with the least amount of material and the least cost compared to a seawall that wouldn't have provided those benefits and would not have grown the beach back. 
So here's an example of what happens. This, this is a, a photograph taken in, in November and, um, of 2016. And here you see a wave coming into one of the BioRock anti-wave devices, anti-wave reefs. And as here you see it absorbing the wave, as you can see the wave is much higher on the sides. The wave is literally diminished a great deal as the wave energy gets dissipated in passing through the, the BioRock anti-wave. And here you see again in this picture, again, the wave energy is just broken up. It's just literally dissipated on the spot. So these, these are very effective because without building a wall all the way, we just slow down the waves in some spots and in others, and we break up the wave gradually all over the reef in a very natural way without it all constant, being concentrated at one point. So it's the most effective way of growing beaches back that exists. And it's quite astonishing how effective they are. So let me show you an example here. Here are some photographs here taken about around nine months after installation. And what you see here are barnacles and clams growing like mad all over the rocks that were put inside of them. They're cementing everything together into one solid framework of structure. Oysters are growing all over it as well. Here are corals rapidly growing. These are staghorn corals. These are you know, just growing at incredible rates, branching, and they're proliferating. Here are more corals. They grow right over the bio rock very rapidly. They're springing all around in the, the regions between and around the bio rock where you see the entire reef is recovering. Seagrass growing like mad. So it's just astonishing growth. Um, here now we're going to see some pictures in December 2016. This is less than a year after we started the project. But about three quarters of that reef growth, as I say, took place in the first three months. I mean, no one has ever seen beaches grow back like that. But here it is less than a year later. These were buildings here that they were about to dismantle and move inland because they thought they were going to fall into the ocean. Now they're behind a growing beach, not an eroding one. As you see here, this, these are these structures that they were, were about to fall down. The beach has grown right up to them. And there's that, that old tree. It's beginning to grow vertically upward again being buried in the, in the sand, and so it's, um, we've transformed the whole situation. In early January of 2017, and this is almost a year after the installation, there was a very severe storm. It was the worst storm for over a year that had happened, but it was a kind of storm that in the past had heavy waves caused severe erosion. Every time that the beach disappeared, it was during a storm like this from this direction. This time the beach actually grew. I mean, that was astonishing. The beach actually grew, even though the beach was just completely covered with logs and debris that was thrown up by the storm. So here are some photographs that were just taken in January 11th, um, 2017. You see the huge amounts of you know, debris and logs and stuff that were washed up onto the beach. Um, here they're, they're busy trying to clean up the mess, but actually, as I say, the beach during this storm grew wider. It didn't erode. So, this is clear evidence that BioRock anti-wave reefs are the, the fastest way of growing back beaches. They're extremely effective. They provide all sorts of ecological benefits. And they use far less material and cost a fraction of the methods that don't work. So this is a, a new method for growing back beaches that will work with, a, with variations almost anywhere. Now what we'd like to do is to look at a video that was taken and you're going to see drone footage, so you're going to see these structures from the air, and you're going to see them underwater. And in this, this video that you're about to see, it was taken in uh, November 25th of, of uh, 2016, so this is about 10 months after the project was installed. Now, before we show those videos, I'm just going to mention here that in addition, we can grow these kinds of reefs using wave energy. That's what we'd like to do. These, these projects are part from the shore, but here's a map of global wave energy in kilowatts per, per meter. And the fact is that even in areas like the Caribbean and Indonesia, which have some of the lowest wave energy in the world, even there where it's, you know, the order of less than 10 kilowatts per meter of shoreline, you can still make energy from wave generators enough to power huge reefs using Biorock wave energy generators like this one that we used in, in, in uh, Bali in Indonesia. So potentially you could make wave generators about two square meters in size like this that could literally grow kilometers of reef from wave energy right at the site that's not being tapped. Now, the reason this is an urgent matter is 
Here's a map of global sea level rise. The average rate is about three millimeters a year. It varies a lot from place to place. Some areas are it's growing a lot faster. The key point is it's about to accelerate a great deal. And we're losing essentially all our beaches around the world. If we don't start using BioRock anti-wave reefs and growing our beaches back naturally, we're going to lose most of what remains in the next few years. It's a, it is a critical matter. So let's now look at the video and uh, we will, you will see how the, how the BioRock reef behaves. This is video that was taken on November 25th by beginner Subhan in, in uh, Pulau Gang, Indonesia. Here we're looking straight down and here are a bunch of BioRock reefs that are offshore. This is the beach that we've grown back here that you're looking at. Uh, here are the BioRock reefs uh, at low tide and uh, they've grown this entire beach back. Um, when you this is the new beach that we grew. We're looking vertically down at the whole area here. This resort had a serious erosion problem. All of these structures were about to be destroyed, falling into the sea and moved. But these bio-rock reefs have protected them and grown the entire beach back. As you can see, they're small and simple structures. Underwater, uh, they're you can see corals growing like mad. The fish are swimming all around them. Life is growing all around. We look vertically down, you see they occupy only a small amount of area. No other method restores coral reefs, sea grasses so quickly and so naturally with so little material as this. In all the areas between these structures, everything is growing like mad. The effect of the electrical field is stimulating everything. This has become a whole fish nursery that um, all baby fish are flocking around, barnacles growing all over it. It's just uh, an oasis of life in an area that was, was severely damaged before. This is, these are the bio rock reefs here again, and um, sometimes we have to clean off uh, garbage and stuff that gets trapped in them, but they function very well. They function very well in storms. They're self-repairing and constantly growing limestone. If they're damaged, they grow right back. As you can see, looking straight down, it's not a lot of material. It's quick and easy to do. It works fast, and uh, it grows the beach and the reef back, like no other method is known to do.